Good afternoon. Our first item of business today is time for reflection, and our time for reflection leader is Mr. Joe Livingston, parishioner at St. Colum Kills Catholic Church in Rutherglen. Thank you. Presiding officer and members of the Scottish Parliament, thank you for this opportunity to address you this afternoon. It is truly an honor for me to be invited here to speak on behalf of my own association, which is called the Foundation of Truth. My daily help within the parish sometimes involves reading from a pulpit and helping out with general parish duties, including fundraising events. The world today needs love and peace. It is so needed. Today there seems to be a lack of true love in hearts. When true love is present, then peace automatically ensues. The world tends to ignore this powerful fact. If leaders everywhere brought true love in their hearts to each negotiating table, there would be no suspicion or distrust. Lack of empathy cancels out forgiveness. But what about truth? Pontius Pilate didn't even know he was speaking to the truth. Does it matter? Of course it does. Without truth, there is a distortion of reality, especially at the negotiating table. I ask you, everyone listening to this short reflection around the world, will you help me? Will you look deep into your heart and at least try to put love the true essence of love into all of your actions, negotiating, and meetings. Then and only then, a new attitude begins to permeate your very being. This is noticeable to others. It will produce peace, and happiness. At the moment, the world says, I haven't time for people. Let's move at high pace and fulfill the schedule. Do we or can we look at people with patience and compassion? If we can achieve this, something inside us comes to the surface. People around you will sense this change in you. It will take you to another level of empathy, which in turn will change your very being. Love sometimes means putting the other person first. This is the challenge. Let's all try and make this a better world. Thank you. 